This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. If you want to learn how to do this polished concrete effect on your walls, stay tuned for this video. All right, so we're gonna be applying this uh, concrete effect to this wall right here. I don't have to do any base coat on this. This is one of the decorative coatings that doesn't need a base coat. I'm gonna be using a deluxe product and this is concrete from deluxe and the can looks a little bit banged up because it was shipped from Australia and came all bent and messed up. So I had to just put a temporary lid on it right here. But it's a very simple, easy product to apply. I'm gonna be rolling it on with a roller. I'm gonna get it on with a nine inch roller. This is a microfiber roller, a three eighths inch roller. I'm gonna be troweling it. I'm gonna be using some Boero Flex Trowels to do the troweling. I'll probably end up using this size right here. I got multiple trowels I can use. I have to tape off my surfaces, my surrounding surfaces. I'm gonna use two rows of inch and a half tape. That way my roller won't get on my adjoining walls, ceilings, or trim. I just have a um, nine inch pan right here I'll be rolling out of, a deep well pan. I need a microfiber cloth right here to pre-wet and get my nine inch roller primed and ready for use. Got a drop cloth down here so I don't get anything on the floor and then I've got a um, ladder right here, a six foot ladder, because I got to get up and do these high ceilings. So let's get on with the process. I'm going to start by masking off uh, my adjoining edges, ceiling and everything, and then we'll begin rolling the product. So here we go. It's a really thick, heavy product. I'm going to just roll it on and then trowel it. Um, this product actually it states application processes three coats, then you sand it in a circular motion with a 600 grit uh, sandpaper. And then after that, uh, your it, um, instructions, you can um, burnish it or polish it with a trowel. I'm gonna be using a six inch microfiber roller to get you know into these corners right here. You're not applying it very heavy. It's just thin coats. You can see I'm just kind of randomly troweling this stuff. As you can see, I got using the microfiber to work it up against my tape. I don't want to leave any of the roller marks, you know, behind. I want it all to be flat. It's just a random troweling effect. You don't want to create any type of pattern to what you're doing. Just, you know, make sure it's um, completely random. You want to have a really, a really a thin coat, but I'm trying to, get it to the point where I can't quite see through it. Um, see the, you know, the white wall color through it. If it gets too thin, you don't really have anything to trowel. You can see my trowel, if, I, if I, my trowel is at too great of an angle, I'm gonna end up scraping it off the wall too. Don't have your trowel, it's kind of a very, shallow angle. All right, so my first coat is all dry now. It's been um, a little over two hours. There's a few um, spots on here. I'm gonna just knock them off. There were some um, little um, peaks and stuff that were catching the trowel. I'm gonna knock these things off and then I'll begin my next coat because they were causing some issues with the trowel. And I can see them in the right light, but the the Second coat is applied just like the first coat. And we'll get that second coat done. And then I'm going to apply my final coat, the third coat. The coating absorbs the moisture out of your product like really fast. It doesn't give you very much working time. So I'm just working in small sections See on the edges how quickly it dries. This is where if you had you know, another person working with you, it would be a lot easier to do. This, this wall right here is gonna take about a gallon to do this entire wall. My trowel technique, I'm barely like, just barely pushing on this trowel. I'm just holding it with a few fingers very lightly and troweling it very, very lightly. Getting pretty close to finishing the second coat here. So now I'm on my third coat. 
And the third coat now is applied just like your first and second coats. And you're gonna have to work, once again, work fairly quick because the coating sucks up the moisture out of your product really fast. All right, so I got my three coats on. I did three coats yesterday, let it dry overnight. So to do any type of polishing or burnishing or sanding, you have to wait at least two hours and no more than 24 hours to do this. So I just waited overnight and I'm gonna be using a 600 grit sandpaper and this is circular disc right here from Abernet. And these are typically for like an orbital sander, but these are 600 grit and they work great for this application. I can easily hold on to them with rubber gloves. I can use them very easily to do my circular motion. You're gonna to wanna to sand in a circular motion this entire wall. And then it's gonna have some highlights on it. It's gonna look really cool. But after that, I'm gonna take in my Venetian Boero Venetian trowel and I'm gonna polish it even more. I'm gonna take and rub it down with my trowel and it's gonna highlight some of the facts and uh, the high points on the wall. It's just gonna give it some more depth. It's gonna look absolutely amazing when I've done. I did have something unusual that happened with this wall on my third coat and I had some outgassing as that's uh, bubbles were creating underneath the surface of the final coat. And so um, it's kind of an unusual situation. I've never seen that before. Um, send a message in to um, technical support and I could sand, um, sand them, burnish it, get it, uh, get them pushed down and then apply another coat to see if it goes away. And it may have something to do with the, the time, you know, allowed in between coats, the final coat. But when I got this sample done right here, I actually liked the bubble look on it. It was something very unusual and adds more character to the wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. You know, I can get away with it with this job because I didn't submit a sample um, to you know, match. You said I was going to do some type of concrete effect you know, on this wall that would go with the color of the room and the metallic finish. And as I sand, you can see it starts to bring out some highlights in the wall. It starts to bring a lot of the highs start to get darker on it, and then it also gets extremely smooth. The wall starts to just feel like glass. Oh my goodness. Pretty cool, eh? Looks amazing. I have a section right here that's just sanded. I have a section right here that's actually sanded and burnished with the Venetian trowel, and this is a little bit darker now. So you see, I can take now, to begin burnishing this, just polishing it more with that Venetian trowel. Now it's bringing it out a lot more, a lot more depth and character to that wall. Looks absolutely amazing. And this Venetian trowel from Boero is amazing for this. This is not their flex trowel, this is a very stiff trowel. Now you just rub my hand over here and feel for rough spots. The sandpaper wears out very fast, so you just change it out regularly. So we're all done now. Got our polished concrete walls completely done. It's finished. It looks absolutely amazing. The effect, the depth, the color is gorgeous. I got walls, the side walls in the bedroom. I did them in repost gray great color combination. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more decorative finishes that I do, hit the little notification bell and that way you'll get notified every time I come out with new finishes and new how-to videos on decorative coatings. I've got multiple coming out. I've got Boero metallic finishes that are suede in a random brush effect. I did a suede random trowel effect. I've even done metallic grits and those videos are coming out soon. Did aluminum paint around a fireplace. So hit the notification bell, smash it, bang it, do whatever you gotta do. It's free, simple, easy to do. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram where we're giving all kinds of really cool short tips and tricks also. If you have any comments, any questions below, leave them down below. I love to learn from you guys and I love to answer your questions, so leave them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Out.